okay welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here please subscribe like and then comment down below anyway it's been quite a long time ever since i posted but you guys i've been i've been busy like it's not my fault but you know i have to film for you guys because you guys know how much i love you anyway let's move okay on. so this is a mini story time of what actually happened to me in shs like my first year that was when i went to dc like can you guys you guys wouldn't believe this that was when i went to dc for the first time <laughs> i thought i thought i'm not going there again and it wasn't even my fault but like my school any little thing you go to dc like every every student in brand high would attest to the fact that any little thing you go to dc but actually it wasn't my fault so <clears throat> what happened was that they accused me of examination more practice you guys examination more practice which which wasn't even true because they had no evidence like they had no evidence they had no paper or anything to show that i cheated in the exams most of the time my school they train us for like wasi so before you enter you enter the examination for 30 minutes before you start the paper if that makes sense you, you start the examination 30 minutes we sit down and then wait for 30 minutes before you start the exams so ah I was trying to like remember all what I've learned and all this stuff and I you know I write I wrote it down on my table I don't know if that makes sense because I wasn't I try not to forget what I was what I had learned so I wrote it down on my table and then I was like I was trying to memorize it so they came to share after the 30 minutes they came to share the paper like the papers for us and then I was writing, I was writing, I was writing, I was I forgot that was a mistake I actually but I didn't know that that would actually lead to something. I didn't know that would lead to something. So I I wrote like I started writing. I started writing. And then this teacher, hmm, hey, this female teacher came. She came to stand on my back. And then she was looking at my paper. Like she was like I don't know, but I thought I didn't know. I my mind was even there. Like I was just for me, I was just focused and I was writing. I was writing what was in my head, what I had learned. So I was just writing, writing, writing. She came to stand on my back, and she was like, "I should get up." So I was like, ah, "I didn't talk." I mean, I just got up because I don't know why she was telling me to get up. I didn't know. So I just got up and then I went to sit at a different place where she asked me to sit. So I went to sit somewhere around the window side, like my classroom is quite big so i just want to see at far end so i was sitting there and then i was writing and then she was still, so that was she was still looking at my so that was when i knew say bro what i had written she thought i had like i had cheated so i wrote i wrote the thing already like on the table before i came to sit down or something so that was when my mind came to it say ah that was what so I was, I panicked. I was like, bro, it's not like that. Like in my head, I was like, it's not like that. It's not like, it's not like that paper. She was like, I should come. What I have, what have I written on my? So I was like, oh, I explained it to her that, oh, I, that was the 30 minutes something. So I was just trying to remember all what I've learned, but I didn't cheat. Yeah, that was, I didn't cheat. So she went to call this master called i won't mention his name on my channel because i don't want wahala i don't want wahala so she went to call him and then he came to stand there and he was making calls that eh, yeah um this case this case this case so and you know mind you that time i wasn't the only one who hmm, just said they've got a lot of people they've got so many people a certain girl be crowd here charlie <laughs> she put she had written the answer she had written it's like a whole desk book on sheets of paper and she has placed it under her desk so as for her the pure evidence but for mine there wasn't really an evidence that i cheated and i explained it to her and nobody in my class like my classmates didn't see me cheating or anything so that afternoon it was around lunch time so that afternoon um 
I don't really remember what happened during that time, but then they told us to go to the assembly hall or something like that. So in the evening, I was there and um, a certain girl came to call me, some home one girl me that, oh, Auntie this and this and this is calling me at the assembly hall. I was like, okay. Me, my mind wasn't, you see, I had forgotten about that thing because I knew that I didn't cheat. So at that time, I was even going for dining and everybody knows me in school. For me, I don't joke with my with dining. Like, bro, I'm always in the dining hall. I don't, why should you miss dining? For what reason? You shouldn't miss dining. So I was preparing to go for dining. I had worn my uniform. I was my check, check, check. I was going for dining, and then the girl came. So I had to put everything down and then go because she was like a teacher is calling me. You know, I was just respectful girl. So I went to the assembly hall and ah, I saw all those people who cheated. I was like, bro, this is DC. Like. I was my heart was my heart my heart like my heart fell inside my stomach you guys I won't lie this is no exaggeration but for real I was panicking like I panicked because like what is this like this is my first time being I said DC something 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 and I didn't like the fact that my name was going there so I was really really panicking so when I went there they were like I should sit down and there was this boy who <laughs> I don't know if I should mention his name, but hey, gosh, the boy was, you can see that the questions they were asking him, eh, only God can, could come in, like, could come for him, like, seriously, only God could come and intervene for that boy, he was, like, his uniform, the boy used to wear a white shirt, the long sleeve, something like this, a long sleeve white shirt, so, he was, I saw that the guy was really, really tense up, he was tense up, like, he was really, really sweating, so I sat down and the girl that I told you guys about that she had sheets of paper under her desk and some other people. So I saw her sitting there and I went to sit. I went to sit close to them and I was I didn't I did when I got there I didn't even talk because I knew said Charlie what was coming for me, you know. Only God oh, only God. So I was there and then it was my it was it was my turn so oh, sister. English, so ah. my turn to go and ask. I know you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a like comment and then subscribe y'all know y'all know just subscribe subscribe so where did i be rich crap so i went to sit down it was my time for me to sit down and answer the questions so i went there i don't really remember the questions they asked though but it was a lot of questions they tried to like i don't know they tried to tie you up with so many questions so that you try to say something or i just don't know what they were trying to do but for me i was honest i said everything that happened I said everything that happened. They even asked me if I tried to struggle with a teacher. I was like, no. When she asked me to get up, I just got up and I went to sit at where she wanted me to sit. So I was just answering the questions and all the stuff. They were like, okay, they are done with me, so they'll get back to me. I was like, okay. So I just took my bag, the bag I was holding. I just took it and I went straight to the dining hall. So the thing, you know, the case didn't come up sad till the following thing. The following term, second term, when I had come fresh from the house, knowing that Charlie, this term, you know, this, no, 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 I had forgotten everything that had happened the, the previous term until they came, they brought the case up again. And you know what this time they did? They gave us punishments that we should clean the whole assembly hall. You guys, that was the punishment. Hey, I had, I have never been punished like that before. And assembly hall is not a joke. Oh. It is big, like you guys. It is big, including all the washrooms, the corridor, the pavement, like every the fans. It, it wasn't a small punishment, and I just thank God that we we're a lot, like a lot, like we we're a bit plenty. So at least we could finish the punishment within. I think it was within one day or two days. I don't know, but we finished the punishment in less than two days. So. Hmm. I really regretted you guys I had done no wrong you guys comment in the comment section if this is fair high school hey hey they did end up there do you know what they told us to do they told us to write an apology letter mercy for the trip write an apology letter and come and read it at assembly that was what killed me like after that punishment, they didn't leave us alone. It was not enough for them. They told us that we should write an apology letter. 
and come and read it in front of everybody form one form two form three we should read it in front of <laughs> oh my god that thing killed like a hey like hmm, i just i just don't know what where to use to describe how i felt at that point in time because it was so i was depressed you guys let me just say i was depressed because it was very scary it was very bad. like i couldn't sleep i couldn't that was on monday so monday morning came you guys we have my school we have assembly morning assembly every monday yeah morning morning assembly every monday so they finished with everything all the announcements they had to give to the school and all this stuff and they were like so we have some dc and um, case members that we want to present to the whole school they want to read an apology letter for everybody to know that you went to cheat in the assembly in, in the examination wall like hmm, oh my god so when they mentioned that thing you guys you know when like something happens and like your your stomach starts to i don't know that kind of feeling but hey it was so like i don't know i didn't <laughs> Hey, I just don't even want to remember how I felt at that point in time. So I saw everybody getting up, all these people who I went to DC with getting up. So I also got up with my paper. I didn't really write anything long because I didn't want to stand there in the first place. So I just wrote something short on a sheet of paper and I went to read it. Hmm. So the microphone was handed. I think I was the third person or so. I don't know if I was the second person or I was the third person. So I went to read, I took the microphone, and then I went to the microphone wasn't even close to my lips. It was just like this. And it was just like this. The microphone wasn't even close to my lips because and I wasn't even looking at them. Like I wasn't even looking at anybody because I didn't want to be I didn't want like I and that time too I wore no mask. Like not I wore no mask to even cover my eyes, my eyes, like it was to this side. I wore the nose mask. Hmm. And my school too one thing about my school is that if something happens it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't die very fast too it will still be there some so maybe some months before it will die out cry so this this thing hmm. so i read the thing and then the last sentence i read was that please yeah i said please i'm sorry and please let it go something like that so it made the master laugh that master i told you guys about that he came to he even took pictures on my table i didn't tell you guys he took pictures on my table as and there was nothing like it didn't even, it wasn't even any 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 tangible reason for you to say say i cheated like it wasn't even anything even two pictures on my team he was even laughing when i read that sentence he was looking at me he was laughing also i was also looking at him so but actually he's a good he's a good master dude. yeah he said he teaches mass yeah but he's actually a good master dude. so um i read the thing and he was laughing and um, in fact my school where eh, they have this kind of stupid hype that they hype you when something like this happens when when we when you go to dc you become a legend in my school look <laughs> when you go to dc you become a legend in my like an all-time legend in my school so when you read they'll give you fans when you read they'll give you fans when you read they'll give you fans and the teachers body were like so your friends or your mates have gone to commit an offense and you are hyping them <laughs> even made the reading of apology later in the assembly hall nice because they were just hyping us they were like Err. so ah after finished people finished reading their own and all this stuff so after reading they told us to go and sit down and that was all like that was i told myself that charlie this thing eh, it will never it will never happen again because hey this is not be small thing in my school the way they will hold the case eh, if it is something small the way they, so imagine you will commit a big offense you can just imagine what will happen to you hmm. hey and one thing about the punishment like the clean of the assembly hall is that sometimes when they come to the supervisors when they come to inspect they will tell you that it's still not clean so you have to continue cleaning until and if you get to the deadline the deadline that they give you and you don't finish their the punishment they will give you another punishment so we had to finish and we like we really cleaned we scrubbed we swept we scrubbed we mopped we cleaned every single part like i was that day i didn't go to for class like i didn't go for class the whole day for a day or two i don't even remember how the how long the punishment how long it took us to complete the punishment but 
I didn't. <clears throat> that was my. In fact, that was my worst experience. Like my worst experience ever going to SHS. Even my whole entire school life. That was my worst experience. I'm never, never going to this year again. Cause hey, I suffered. Whoa. In fact, I know say all those people I went to this year with that did suffered because of that. Me, it wasn't because of nothing. The punishment didn't. Even, it didn't get to me than the apology thing. The apology letter I went to read, it didn't really get to me because hey, it was very, 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 very bad for me. You guys, that was my worst day, my worst experience, my worst, my worst everything in SHS in my whole entire school life. That was my worst. Anyway, as that being said, I'm done with the story time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't give, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and then comment your worst experience or your worst day ever in SHS. So that I can be able to read. I love you guys. I'll be back with more videos. Bye. <laughs>